Hey guys, today's video is going to be a how-to and review on Ciate's Velvet Manicure Kit. This kit was gifted to me by my best friend Sarah for a Christmas present and you can purchase it at Sephora. This is in the berry color. The first step is to paint your nails with the Ciate Paint Pots Nail Polish. I did like the formula on this nail polish. It was just fine. It was a little bit sheer when you did one coat of it, but the second step is to add a second coat so it turns opaque after that. The only thing I don't like about the brush, it's a normal smaller brush, but it has a bow on top of it and it got in the way when I was painting some of my nails so I removed the bow. Next comes the fun part of adding the crushed velvet to your nails. It comes with a top kind of like the top you use to put sprinkles on a cake and the velvet comes out just fine. Um, you do have to tap it a whole bunch of times to get as much as you want to come out. So what you need to do first is add a second coat of polish, working one nail at a time so that the polish does not dry before you get the velvet on there. Make sure you cover your entire nail completely. That's the only problem I had with this product is that if I had a dry spot on the sides of my nail, the velvet didn't stick, or if I somehow went over my cuticle, the velvet got on my finger instead of on the nail. So just be careful when adding your polish for the second coat. The last step is to remove any of the excess velvet from your nails and they provide a little brush to do this. You can also, as I did towards the end, just blow on your nails but it causes the velvet powder to go everywhere. I do enjoy this product. It's kind of strange to have really fuzzy nails. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to hold up under the wear and tear of washing dishes and taking showers, but if you do follow me on Twitter, I am going to post throughout this week to update you on how this velvet manicure holds up. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.